welcome back to my channel it's been a minute hey like I think it's been like oh god I don't even know six months or something like that I think once in this video I said it's been nine months and then I was like I don't think it's been that long, but whatever. I'm back. Basically, I'm just gonna do this look right here, which is my kind of everyday look. This is my go-to these days. I'll walk you guys through the products and uh, basically catch you up on my life. So I guess, yeah, if, if you care, then keep on watching. Okay, so I already moisturized my face. I used the, what is this? I used the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Gel Cream. I got sent this in the mail from um, Influencer. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that website, but it's freaking awesome. They send you things, everything from skincare to makeup to, like, you. they could send you food, they could send you tea, like, it depends on what you set up with them. So yeah, so they sent me this, and it's freaking awesome gel cream. It, like, settles into your skin really nicely, and yeah, it just feels great. It doesn't feel oily or anything like that. So once that's settled in now, I'm gonna go ahead with my primer. Sorry, this is so dirty. It's embarrassing. My concealer kind of exploded. But anyways, so this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I freaking love this stuff. Uh, makes my pores look almost invisible, I would say. I don't know, it's nice and thick. It's kind of tacky, and it just feels like it's really getting in there. And then also, it really helps to balance out the oiliness a lot. So I usually just put it right in my T-zone. And you guys, sorry about my voice. Like, I don't know what happened. I'm not sick. I don't feel sick at all. But we just got back from Mexico uh, three days ago. And, like, ever since we were getting on the flight, my voice has just been, I don't know, manly. Sexy, if you will. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start with foundation. Now, I have been using the, again, super dirty, Joe Fresh um, Hydra Stay Liquid Foundation. I really like this stuff because it is nice, like, uh, skin finish, kind of, so it's not too thick and it's not too light. This is the shade, I think this is shade Sand. So I just put a pump of that on the back of my hand, and then just for a little bit more coverage, I'll also add one pump of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Creme. This one is super thick, super full coverage, very matte. So I just, I have my Joe Fresh there and I just put like half a pump in there as well. And I'll just mix it together with my brush and I'll start painting that on the face. Anyways guys, I filmed, okay. The last time I uploaded a video I think was in March, maybe February. And I have, I filmed one in April and it just was absolute garbage. Like I hated it so much. My thing, my problem has been like, the last year or so has just been like super dramatic for me, I would say. I mean, it's not one thing in general. There's been so much going on for me. It's been like the longest year of my life, but also the fastest year. And I feel like so much has changed for me personally. Like, I just went through a lot of, like, personal shit and, like, turmoil. And I just had, like, a lot of people come in and out of my life in a really short period of time. And then also just, like, I was figuring out, like, what I wanted. And, like, I don't know. I was just in a weird, like, rut. And I just didn't really feel like being on camera. I don't know. That sounds so stupid. Okay, so now I have my foundation on. I'm going to go ahead with concealer. I'm going to mix two so I have my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10 Light, and then I've got my Tarte Shape Tape, which, by the way, this is the little demon that exploded over uh, basically everything. This is the shade Fair. I'm going to go in mostly with the Fit Me, and then just do a little bit of the um, Shape Tape, right in kind of like the hollows right in here, so... And I'm just going to put the shape tape just a little bit on my eyelids as well as a primer. I'm just going to go ahead and set that with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is uh, in the shade 10 Fair Light. I'm just going to put that under my eyes and then also in my T-zone for now. Two 
to apply the powder in my t-zone, I'm just going to use this denser brush. This is the Morphe M437. And I'm just going to pick up a good amount on my brush. And then I'm just going to pack it right into those pores. Okay, while that sets, I'm just going to jump to brows, and then we'll come back and finish off powdering the face. I've been going really light with brows lately. I don't know, all through summer I was way too lazy to even really do anything with my makeup. So, I've been going light on the brows, just literally just powder. I really feel like so much has happened since I filmed last, though. Like, we moved. The house we were living in was um, sold, so we had to move, and we um, moved into a house with two really good friends of ours. So it's been super fun and crazy, but it's also, that's another thing. Like, it made it really hard to film because there's always someone home. There's four of us living in a three-bedroom basement suite, right? So it's... It's been busy, but also like my mom got married in July. I freaking have changed jobs like 40,000 times. I feel like, I don't know, man. I've just been all over the freaking place and it's been crazy. I honestly am so just like ready for life to slow down. I don't know. I mean, does that ever happen though? I don't think so. By the way, I'm just using the little brush from the um, Benefit Cabrow kit thingy. And then to finish the brows off, I'm just going to go ahead with some clear brow gel. Okay, now that brows are done, I'm going to go ahead with my big fluffy brush and I'm just going to put a light layer of powder over the rest of my face and kind of wash away the baking that we had. Okay, so now for bronzing, I'm going to go ahead and start with my Hoola bronzer and contour as per usual. Okay, now I have my Hoola bronzer on. I'm going to go directly over top of that with my Milani Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Soleil, and it's a little bit warmer than Hoola bronzer. So I like to start with the Hoola to give, like, the contour, and then I just go over this to bronze it all up and warm it up a little bit. I found, though, that I can't use this just on its own. I think it's, like, a little bit too orange for me. So I like to have the Hoola base down to kind of even it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to jump in with blush here. I'm using my Sephora blush in the shade Hysterical. That's number 11. And I'm just going to put this right on the apples of my cheeks. Blend it back into the bronzer as well. I just think my constant goal is to always get better at YouTube and always be like more consistent. But my problem is that I feel like I get up in my own head too much and I always just feel like it takes so much longer and more effort than I think it's going to. Now, it does take a little bit more effort than I would like because I have to set up the lights and set up my camera and like all that and it does take a lot of work, but I feel like it's not as much work as I like make it out to be in my head, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to set my face makeup here really quick using my Makeup Forever setting spray, the Mist and Fix. I really like this stuff. It's actually super freaking wet though. Like there's so much that comes out, but I feel like it gives a nice like sheen glow without being too much for my oily skin. Ugh. Ugh. Just a light layer for now. Let that soak in. Okay, I zoomed you guys in nice and close. We're going to go ahead and start the eyes. I'm just going to do my basic everyday eye. And I actually haven't even really been using eyeshadow for that. It's mostly been bronzers. So I'm going to go with my Hoola bronzer on a fluffier-ish brush. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease here. And then slightly into the outer corner. Oh, that looks messy, doesn't it? 
I take a fluffier brush with no product on it and just kind of buff that out and make sure everything's cleaned up a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to go in with a flat, dense brush. This is the flat end of the double-ended brushes from the ABH palettes. And I'm just going to go into my shade and light. And I'm actually just going to use this darkest shade over here that I never use on my face. And I'm just going to really pack that into my brush. And then pack that onto my outer corner. Actually, I'm going to pack that across my whole lid. I think another reason why I'm just so like ready to get back into all of this is because I feel like I love doing it so much and it's such a fun hobby of mine, but I've been working so much lately that I just have like literally had no time for myself. I've been working like 10 to 12 hour days, two to four days a week for the last like three months and I'm so exhausted all the time that like I just don't have time to do anything you know what I mean and then when we went to Mexico I was just like oh yeah like I need to fucking relax man I've been really loving using bronzers as eyeshadows because it's not too pigmented you know what I mean like it's super diffused so it doesn't give you anything too crazy or out of control I'm just gonna fill in my lower lash line with brown liner And then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone and inner corner with my um, Gleam Glow Kit. Shocker, if you've seen any one of my other videos, then you know that's the go-to. Anyways, yeah, working. I My gig right now is like, so I nanny part-time, but then also like I'll go straight from nannying to the chiropractor's office that I work at and I'll do anywhere from two to four hours there. So I leave my house at like 6.45 in the morning and then I get home anywhere between 5.30 at the earliest and 7, 7.30. But that being said, like I don't wanna sound like I'm just like bitching about my whole life. I've gotten so much great experience working at this Cairo office. I've done like no reception work before this and they literally hired me knowing that I had no experience or anything like that I don't know dude it's it's pretty cool like it's nice to have this experience I I, I don't know I feel like I definitely want to start getting like more creative though with my YouTube videos like I want to start doing cool shit you know not just everyday looks or whatever I want to um, push myself basically I, I'm not really good at Halloweeny stuff like I'm really bad at that stuff I think I want to start pushing myself. So if you guys have any suggestions on things that you want to see or that like you want me to do, I mean, let me know for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly throw on some lashes. I'm gonna use my uh, Double Wispies from Ardell. They're pretty used and abused, but that's okay. So lash application is kind of an art. You wanna wait until the glue is tacky on your lash band so it's not too wet that it's sliding all over the place, but you don't wanna wait too long that it's too dry and then it doesn't stick to your eye. So play around with it, find what works best for you, and then you'll take it, I take it on my tweezers, some people do just their fingers, I don't get a steady enough hand for that. So I just go and I drop it right down in the middle first. And then I'll go to the left side. So for this eye, it'd be the outer corner. Other eye is the inner corner, obviously. And I'll stick that down. And then I'll come into the other side and stick that part down. For me, making sure that the inner and outer corners are really on there is the most important part because the middle of my lash band could be coming off and as long as the inner and outer corners on there, it's not going to go anywhere. It does take some practice to get your lashes on. In the beginning, they won't really be as close to your lash line as you would want them to be. In that case, you could put liner on like over top of your lash band and then do your water line underneath. Um, so same thing, you'll just go center, and then left side, and then right side. 
And honestly, like, I feel like doing your lashes is such a personal thing. Like, I feel like it's so different for everyone that take what I say with a grain of salt. Take what everyone says about it with a grain of salt because you got to figure out your own, like, method, you know? And everyone's eyes are different, too. So you might have to trim your lashes down. You might not have to. I always have to cut my lashes because they're always too, like, long for my eye. And if you have them hanging over the end of your eye, your eyes are just going to look like, Merp, you know, and I have enough of that already. I really don't need help with that, I guess. I'm just going to take my brown liner and run that right in my waterline here. Now, before I do my lower lash line mascara, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out and I'm gonna do my highlight because I like to spray my face down before I do my lower lash line mascara so I don't have any fear of transferring anything. So I'm gonna zoom you out and then we'll keep going. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit. I'm kind of like, I've hit pan on the only three that I actually use and the day that this runs out is going to be tragic for me because they've discontinued this glow kit and I just really, don't know what I would use after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and classic me, mix Starburst and Mimosa, and just punch that right on the highest points of my cheekbones. Kinda up the side. And then make my nose look less dry. And just put it a little bit on there. And then just a touch on the Cupid's bone. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face down again. Same makeup forever setting spray. See what I mean? Like this spray, this mist is like so wet. But once it like settles into your skin, it really keeps that glow on your like highlight, but it doesn't make it too much on the rest of your face. Let me just fan that in real quick. I'm gonna zoom you guys back in now that everything else is done and we're gonna do lips together. I feel like my lips are one thing that I really want to enhance, AKA lip fillers. I just feel like they're really small and I don't like them. So I just overlined. So let's zoom you in. Okay, so I don't even use lipstick. I just use lip liner and then lip gloss. So this is actually like the best lip liner. It's Milani. I've gone through this so fast. Like this thing is so short now. But this is the shade number uh, three. I don't know what it's called, but it's shade number three. You get it at a superstore. That's where I found it. And then I'll take it and I just like go right underneath my lip, like where my lip actually stops, I just go right under there a little bit. I don't go all the way to the edge. So I usually like overline to about here. And when I say overline, I literally mean like I'm going right underneath my the line of where my lip actually stops, right? And then when I get to the sides, I just go follow like the natural line that I already have. And then I'll bring it up, just in on the sides of my lips. I can just kind of diffuse it like that. And then I'll jump to the upper lip. So for me, what I like to do is I'll start kind of at the cupid's bow and I'll just go over what I already have there. And then what I'll do is I'll take each side of the cupid's bow and I'll just basically connect it by filling in the middle, right? So I'll kind of just make it like a straight line. And then I'll take my liner and I'll go over, right over the edge of where my lip actually stops. I go over the edge of that until about there. Okay, and once we get to that point, I just dip back to where my lip actually goes. Because if you overline all the way to the edge, it starts to look like really clownish. So you just keep it on your actual lip when it gets to the edges. And then I'll just kind of do like a little bit of shading up the sides. Buff it in a little bit.
and that's basically it. Now I've gone out just like this, but I'll usually apply my Fenty Gloss Balm over top. The nice thing is about the shading is that when your gloss balm starts to wear off, you still have color on your lips. So I'll usually put that right in the center. So I'll go right here, and then I'll go right here. And that's, that's it for lips. So guys, this is the finished look. This is my go-to, basically my everyday jam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, you know, thanks guys for actually like coming back. Those of you that did. I mean, it's been a minute and I, uh, I should start taking this more seriously. I'm happy to be starting back on this. If you guys like this video or like this look or like me, maybe, subscribe to my channel, give this video a nice thumbs up, and leave a comment on what you guys want to see next time because I'm really bad at making decisions. So I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye! Uh, oh, fuck. I'm going to tap in my brush. <clears throat> See how nice and like healthy my face looks now with that, um, what the hell are you doing here? How long has that been like that? <laughs>